133 pounds, Austin DeSanto for the Hawkeyes. Comes in ranked fourth in the country. And Lucas Bird. Lucas Bird gym this season. 4-0. And another one of those young guys in Champaign with a lot of upside. Yeah, we, we were in Champaign a couple of years ago, and, and I remember sitting down and asking uh, Jim Heffernan about his team, and he didn't really have a very good dual meet team and at that point in time, and they were just coming off a season where they, they I don't know if you recall, Shane, they went one point with Iowa again in Carver-Hawkeye Arena about three years ago. That was the last time they wrestled in this duel. That was a crazy day yeah. at Carver-Hawkeye. Yeah, and uh, uh, Stam Stoll got the big fall, and they ended up uh, winning uh, a close one, but you know, they're, he's fired up about these young guys and the way they're wrestling. I was watching them in the wrestling room, and I said, there's got a lot of reason for optimism. These guys were going. And now you're starting to see the fruits of that hit the mat right now, and so there's a lot of reason to be optimistic. And you may not see that this whole match, this whole meet. But it's just, uh, you know, Bird is one of those guys. He likes to go ahead and force the action there with that double underhook. He's a two-time state champion out of LaSalle, Cincinnati, Ohio. We saw him here on the network against Indiana, a 14-5 major against Grant, uh, Caden Ruxin. Just one of those guys that goes out and gets the job done in all positions. High energy, big efforts. And this was a match, Jim, that had me very intrigued. Well, you know, that was a great job by, by DeSanto with that fireman's carry there. Now he's getting back points to follow up with it. The pressure that was on his back. Yeah, I tell you what, now he comes up around to the head right there. He's got his chest to chest right there. That's close. That was probably closer than the fall that Lee got right there. Man, the position of his back. Felt that one doing the broadcast. Six nothing to Santo, a takedown, and four near fall points. To Santo, a scoring machine. He has scored 20 points or more in 23 career matches, a career high of 27 points. That was last season. Two time All American from Exeter, Pennsylvania. Began at Drexel before coming to Iowa City. And just non stop on the attacks right back at it. Showing some pretty good balance here as Bird, but you know, DeSanto is just nice, nice job of finishing up, even follows up with the roll through, and Bird is not going to give up any points in this position. Better. Excellent Better. counter action there by Bird. But let's take a look at that fireman's carry by DeSanto. Nice adjustment right here. Look at the counter, how he hits a high bridge right here. Look at the flexibility, and DeSanto stays with it. Gets the four count right there, jumps out to a 6 0 lead. Here we go. Right. Bird has been impressive getting off of his back and also that last counter. Bird, Super 32 champion, Ironman finalist, was number one ranked at 120 pounds coming out of LaSalle. Was the second state champion in school history. And you know, Shane, you're just looking for guys to go out there and compete. And you know, playing guys. Bird. Not ranked yet, but just the fact that he was able to kind of hang in there in that first minute, not give up anything big, battle off his back. And, you know, because you know DeSanto's going to bring it. He's a known quantity. Illinois off to a really good start. Led by Jim Heffernan in his 12th season as head coach. Of course, he spent 17 seasons in Champaign as the assistant to Mark Johnson. Been around a long time and one of the great guys in this sport. He really is, and a nice conversation with him. You know, uh, he's a guy that, you know, of course, you know, cut his teeth here, national champion at Iowa, was one of the most tech, tech, sound technical wrestlers, I think, in their program for, for decades. So he's, he's you know, certainly up there in the top five, but, uh, you know, ended up being a, a really good coach, helped a lot of guys do pretty well, but, yeah. He, he told me, he's like, I'm going to miss the crowd, right? I miss the heckling, all right? I miss the, uh, it wasn't, uh, he came in here as an assistant coach for Lehigh one year after his, uh, his uh, uh, after he left Iowa, and, you know, the heckling started right then, and he got used to it and kind of liked it, and uh, really enjoys coming to Carver Hawkeye with teams. And DeSanto off to a quick start, was up 6 nothing, and he had Bird in all kinds of trouble. I'm super impressed with Bird, Jim. He's he's a guy that's really yeah, caught my attention. You were you were jacked up about this one, that's for sure. And, and DeSanto has has probably got the ability to score it here in this position, but 
talked with Mike Poeta a little bit before this duel, and he said the mentality coming in here to Iowa is let it fly. You have house money. Just battle. Make it a fight. Right. Yeah, well, don't back down. And I don't think he's, he's done. You can make mistakes out there, but you, again, you're, you're, you're right. You're correct. Don't back down Watch against DeSanto, and I think he appreciates that, too, because Bird has held position right there in the center of the mat. He's not chasing by any means. Now he gets a quick little go behind there, and this is where it gets tough. This is where you can say you want to compete, but you know, you're know you halfway through the uh, the second period. Now it's getting a little bit rough, and DeSanto's starting to work, and can you still continue to execute your technique and maybe even score yourself? Head to the outside, going to drive Come through, in. should score again. There's two more for DeSanto, and he's so impressive as well, just constantly scoring points. He never gets tired, and if he does, he enjoys it. Tom Brands in his 15th season as head coach at Iowa. They've won five Big Ten titles, 11 of 13 tournaments, Jim. They've taken home a trophy. They're always relevant. Yeah, we've said that for years that uh, Iowa, and that's been the impressive thing about the, the Brands era is that he's, you know, I think they finished eighth the first season that he was here, but after that, it's all top fours and national championships and last year's season, uh, you know, it's just a shame he couldn't, have that tournament because he really had a great team, but he's got a, a lot of them back right now. And right now, this team is being compared to the great historical teams, even the teams that Tom and Terry wrestled on back in the early 90s, which were tremendous dual meet teams. There's a point to DeSanto. Couple hard clubs from Bird. situation here bird if there be a way could score keep it to a regular decision but Help! easier said than done is another takedown for DeSanto working on another 20 point performance he's got two already this season a 21 6 Good tech job. and a 21 2 tech all right we're done okay come on come on we're done here we go that's a good job by Kurt Frost just basically not 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 working at worrying about giving up points right there the official the both guys are clubbing on each other pretty well both guys are tough guys. They can take it. DeSanto, 71 career victories, 43 bonus point wins, 23 tech falls. Front headlock position here, 45 seconds, third period. And you can see where the, just the, 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 uh, the constant wear and tear that DeSanto puts on you, you know, works you over at times. And so he likes to, you know, be heavy on the head, makes you work to get back up to your, and then he touch and go right there with a nice, two green. beautiful, watch me, watch me. I got two uh, green. high crotch shot there, switch to a double. I mean, the, the pressure that he puts on is just no great. Change. Attacking both sides of the body, no good with the go behinds. And that attack, Jim, looked like no change. the same no. commitment that he would show in the first one neutral. 20 seconds of a match. One neutral. With your trainer. When you watch DeSanto wrestle, you don't know if it's, Sudden victory or the first 30 like seconds? Injury. It is all high pace. Takes a and shot right there. Yeah, it just looked like uh, DeSanto just stopped for a second and came off of it. Maybe uh, get a, looks like he got right here. He's looking for something, right? Kind of got it caught high in the sternum and who took a head to the, the same area again. So, um, you know, you never know what's going Here's on. Up. These guys are in wrestling room all week. And, Things that you may have uh, tweaked a little bit. Happens again. And again, you said before, Shane, putting up a lot of points this season. It'll be a major decision for Austin DeSanto. Now 3-0 on the season with the riding time, 18-6. DeSanto over Bird.